In our last lesson, we worked on uh, responsiveness, so hiding our navigation, etc. Um, in this lesson, we are going to work on um, this button here, so we should be able to click on it and have our navigation appear. Okay. Um, so if you go into Bootstrap Components and click on Navbar, uh, scroll down, you will find this section here. So copy uh, the button uh, from the beginning of the opening tag for button to the closing and then go into our HTML I'm um, going to hide that go into the main content area just above our search I'm going to add a new um, tag nav class and give this um, a class name navbar default okay and then paste our button uh, in there so a bit of a plagiarism which is what Bootstrap is there for. So indent, and we have to change a few things. So the targets, uh, and also change this here. So off canvas and this, yeah. So the data target is the side menu. So that's where we want to target when we click on it. Okay, so if we come here, reset the page, nothing has happened, but we can see when it goes to mobile size, we have everything in the wrong place. So if I come here, I want to pull this to the left, reset the page, and that's better. But if you notice, we have a background um, gray color, which we want to remove. So what I'll do, I'll copy this nav by default, uh, go into our CSS, okay, target that class, and set the background color to white. Reset the page, and that's it. It's done. But we have this, we need to style that button. So it's the same as the rest of our admin system. To do that, I'll target navbar toggle, um, which is change the border color, and make that to be 1AB394. Okay, so that's applied it for us. So navbar toggle belongs to the, uh, to Bootstrap. So I'm just targeting Bootstrap and making some changes to it. Background color uh, changed. So now we have the lines, which is called icon bar. So change the border for the icon bar. Uh, one pixel the color should be white and solid. Okay, so that looks good, but when we hover over it, it changes, which is not very nice, so we need to take care of that. So it's a navbar, uh, when we hover over it, we want uh, the background color to remain as hashtag 1AB394. Okay, hover over it, so that's fine, but when we click on it and hover over it, then it goes wrong again. So we will have to take care of the the focus state of it. So navbar toggle. So when we uh, when we focus on it, we want the background color uh, to remain as one AB three nine four. And there we go. So it looks much better. Okay. So what we have to work on now is. Um, using JavaScript uh, to handle what happens when we click on on this button. Okay, so JavaScript is slightly beyond the scope of this lesson, so you can just follow what I'll do, and um, it's quite straightforward, really. I will cover JavaScript at some point. I'm going to create a new file in our admin, uh, a new folder uh, called JS, and create a new file inside it and we can call that uh, default JS. Okay, so we could write some JavaScript in here, uh, which will listen out for a click and do something when we click on it. So the first thing we do is we check that the document is ready. So we reset the page and uh, it's downloaded and the rest of it. So that's how we do it in JavaScript, the document is ready. Okay, so once the document is ready, we then say 
uh, we want to target something on the page. So if we go into our index, uh, we could copy this here, the data toggle of canvas, okay, and paste it in our square brackets. So we say basically when this is clicked, uh, perform a function, yeah, do something. So this is how it's done. And what we want it to do is uh, we say uh, target um, our ID, our side menu ID, and we want you to toggle it. So when you click it the first time, do something. When you click it again, do the opposite of what you did before. So when we click it, we want it to add a hidden um, extra small um, class, okay, which would hide it because it's, that's what the extra small class does. And we'll click it again, it will reveal it. So let's hook our default JS into our page. So we say go into our JS folder and attach our default JS uh, file on here. And we close this like that. Okay, so that's it. If everything is written properly, it should work. Uh, reset the page and click, there we go, and it works. Click it again. So that's how the toggle works. All right, so in this lesson, we've learned a few things and we've, um, we've actually uh, gone beyond the scope of CSS and written a little bit of JavaScript to help us out. In the next lesson, we'll um, work on individual pages for our admin. Um, so this is where we can stop um, in this lesson. So remember to revise what we've done, have a look at our JavaScript again. And if you need something like that in a future project, remember where you've done it and reuse it. That's the point. Okay, so I'll see you in the next lesson.